The real estate market has changed in Colorado Springs and I'm about to tell you why. One reason is buyers and sellers hear a lot of noise from the headlines and everything in between and it's creating a lot of uncertainty. If you have heard about the real estate market shifting, I'm here to tell you that shift has already happened. I'm Carrie McLean with Carrie McLean Homes at eXp Realty. In the last few months, we have seen buyer demand cool, mostly in part to the rapidly rising interest rates. We have seen more homes hit the market. And this may have you wondering, is this the next 2008? Let's dive deep into some El Paso County market stats so that you can feel more confident about your real estate decisions. First things first, and one of the main reasons I feel this market is different is in 2009, El Paso County reached the peak, the max foreclosures, which was 5,470. This past week of September 30th, we had 64 notices of election and demand across many of Colorado's largest counties. The difference in these numbers is staggering. Current foreclosures and demands are minimal. This is also interesting. Active listings were down 17% from August in September. And to put that in perspective for you, they were down 18% from the same time last year. But our active listing inventory was up 127% from the last year, which brings us to a total of 2.1 months of supply. While this inventory increase is significant, the numbers still indicate that we are in a seller's market. Six months of inventory is a balanced market and locally here we are still in an inventory shortage. Our average sale price was down to 523,000 and some change from August. Listings are still selling for 99% of list price. I am personally watching an interesting market indicator though and that is the listing success rate. Over the past few years, this has been extremely high. Basically, if you listed a home for a reasonable price, it was bound to sell and sell rather quickly. In the last 30 days in El Paso County, as of the date of this video, there were 355 homes that were removed from the market for one reason or another. That's a much higher number than we've seen. In my opinion, this is largely due to uncertainty from sellers. Now, some of those may come back on the market, but this is as of this video. That accounts for roughly 20% of the new listings that are coming to the market. If you're on the fence about buying or selling this year, let's connect and talk about the actual market facts and indicators so that you can make the best possible decision for your home, for your family, and your real estate goals.